Hello everybody. As you all know, falloffs in Modo are a good thing. And this is why I wanted to see how I can do something similar here in Blender. I will do the middle car part of a car rim or some other machinery and I start with a circle, a circle with 40 edges, so I can divide it by 5, because I want to put 5 screws in here. Now I switch or I tap to edit mode and press the 2 key. And if I just need a surface which I can bend, then the easiest thing to do would be go to face, pull down and grid fill this face. And you see we have a surface now which we can uh, deform. You can play with the spans here and uh, the offset and simple blending, I leave this up to you. I usually just look that I get uh, a surface where the squares are of more or less identical size. But you see here, we have these funny quads, which uh, from my experience sooner or later will give you problems. And this is why I never do it just this way. So let's undo this. What I do first is, let's go to top view so we see it better. I press the E key, right click to activate the extrude tool then scale it in a little bit like so and now create fill and you see now we have taken the funny uh, quads here away from the edge and this is much less critical but with what I want to do today this does not tell me so let's undo everything again and check that we only have 40 edges, yes. So I fill this, then go to uh, face mode, right click and poke faces. Then I go to uh, vertex mode, S take this center vertex and bevel it ever so slightly like so then polygon mode again and delete this middle polygon or this middle face now all these here are quads so we can control r this and uh, with the wheel um, put some additional edges in. Now we have also a surface which is um, which can be uh, bent but it is also so I can take a segment of this surface and then uh, don't have to repeat the work more than once. So uh, my cat is asking for some food so let me just stop this for a minute. Okay back. So let's uh, make a screw hole here so I select these six 
polygons or faces, right click, go to the loop tools and make a snow. Now first I want to inset this with the I key a little like so. Now I right click and make a circle and I am I still in top view? Yes. I rotate this with the shift key. That looks better. Okay. Now I can uh, select all the middle vertices. Then go to the, uh, how is this called? Proportional editing, shortcut is O, and select the sphere fall off. You see, we have several fall off types, and the icon on the left shows you exactly what you will get when you use this fall off. This random one uh, is maybe used for some uh, landscape or things like this. Uh, the easiest thing is when you try it out yourself. Here we have an option that we only affect connected geometry. So if you split, for example, uh, an edge or edges to make these uh, two pieces, then it will only affect one piece and not the other. And the, pro the projected from view is when you are, for example, in front view, then it will make uh, this shape, but not on the entire geometry. This is another thing you could uh, find out yourself. It's not very complicated and it's pretty obvious. Okay, now let's enable that. Then grab in Z and you see this white circle. This is the area of influence and I pull this up to about here and turn it off again and you see it works pretty much like uh, in Modo except that in Modo <coughs> only selected geometry is affected. So this is a bit less intuitive here I must say and uh, because if I would uh, select all the geometry, then it would just move it upwards and I wouldn't get this uh, circular deformation as I did here. But anyway, it can still be done, no problem. Uh, I select now these uh, polygons here and then extrude them in Z to, let's see, from the side about here, yes, good. Then I go to see-through mode and select all the lower vertices here, then scale, scale in Z to zero and now it is a flat surface. Okay, next we need to harden mm, no I select 
loops, boundary loops, then shift, alt, click on here and go to edge mode, control B. No, I don't want this middle, just this one and these ones. Now control B and make this two and profile of one. Okay. Now <clears throat> I select this middle edge here, then shift S and then cursor to select it and tap to object mode. Then I add new geometry, shift A, I add a cylinder with six sides only and scale it in till it fits into this hole, like so. Yes. Then back to uh, edit mode, delete this bottom edge and go out of X-ray mode, mm, let's see, I, let's go to top view, select this and I scale it in a little, uh, no, L to select everything, now scale it in. Okay, that's better. Yes, that's a lot better. Okay, <clears throat> now I select everything, control, no, too early. I go to edge mode, select everything, L, and then <clears throat> control B, now this screw head should hold its shape, and we can join everything together. So A to select everything, Control J to join it together. Let's have a quick look in smooth mode. Yes. Back to here and now we are pretty much done. So we need five times eight. So we need one, two, three, four, then the fifth one, one, two, three, four, shift and now I can uh, delete these faces, select all these ones and delete them as well. And now we can go to top view again, 
and select the spin tool, press the A key, but first we need to shift S, add the cursor to world origin, otherwise it spins around the wrong point and this must be 360 and duplicate and we need only five and we don't need the spin tool anymore a to select everything go to mesh clean up merge by distance and it has merged 288 vertices yeah why not let's see I put uh, alt extrude z pull this down a bit alt and control b and now let's see and shade smooth yes only this middle polygon by the way i don't mind that this is uh, an end gone now i even scale it out a little because this will give me the least problems if i would uh, triangulate it it would give me uh, artifacts which i don't like so now let's go to here and have a look with the matte cap this one and you see we have a very nicely bent surface maybe i put something else in here uh, here edge mode Control B and pull this out a little. Select the middle edge, Alt, and grab it in Z and pull it down like so. And then I can mm, let me turn off subdivision, Control Zero. And then I select these and shift select these ones and control B again like so okay that's it control 2 to add uh, two subdivisions And now we are done. Yeah, nicely bent surface with the proportional editing tool, which is more or less equivalent to the falloffs in Modo. So, thanks for watching, take care, and see you some other time. Bye bye.